Hey guys, Dilmer Moore here, and welcome back to NASCAR 14th race, 25-36. Two races left in the regular season, and Land Motor Speedway for the Oral B USA 500. Last week at Bristol, I finally earned my fourth win of the season after weeks and weeks, after several weeks of just bull crap late in the race. So, um, for the Atlanta race, we're going to run the Cobalt Tools car, since that way you ran in 2014 real life at Atlanta. I should probably show where I come in points. As of right now, I'm currently the top leader in the Chase Grid with four wins. Brad Keselowski, Marcus Ambrose, Jeff Gordon, and Greg Biffle have two. Kyle Busch, Clint Boyer, Denny Hamlin, Dale Jr., Martin Truex, Casey Kane, and Jamie McMurray both have one win apiece. Oh, and don't forget AJ Allmendinger, Brian Newman, and Ricky Stenhouse. So. What we're watching here is the, the battle for 12th through 16th. So, as of right now, even though Stewart and Edwards both don't have wins, they're pretty comfortable unless something happens, like they get a poor finish or something. So, right now, we're going to be watching, in the chases right now, we're going to be watching Brian Vickers, Kevin Harvick, Martin Truex, even though he's got a win, Kurt Busch, he's getting pretty dangerously close to the cut line, and Casey Kane. Though I'm not sure if they're going to do the this game that has the 16 man format or the 12 man format, cause, but I think you can get the chase format for um, September. So for now, I'm just assume it's going to be the 16 man format and not the wild card chase format. So, anyways, enough talk. Let's go to Atlanta. Atlanta and Richmond. Atlanta has always been a fun track for me on any NASCAR racing game, whether it be this game or 04 or NASCAR or Total Team Control or any of the older NASCAR heat, NASCAR games like NASCAR Heater, or Dirt to Daytona, or hell, even NASCAR Thunder 2003 for that matter. I'm pretty good at Atlanta. I haven't raced here a whole lot because I haven't played at NASCAR 14 at Atlanta. So, but on a practice run, I had on a practice run, I had 33 laps. Tire wear and fuel use weren't as high. So, anyways, tonight's format for the Atlanta Motors for the race tonight's race at Atlanta Motor Speedway, we're going to be doing 33 laps. Tire wear is going to be times two. Fuel use is going to be times two. Flag rules will be cautions only. Damage and failures are going to be on full. Atlanta Motor Speedway has been known for its crazy fast speeds going into turn one where speeds are dangerously close to 200 miles an hour. When this track was reconfigured in 1997, it has been home to several fantastic finishes. 2001 with Kevin Harvick and Jeff Gordon comes to mind, three days after the man, after Dale Earnhardt's death in the 2001 Daytona 500. Another finish comes to mind would be, that come to mind would be the 2005 Golden Corral 500, where Carl Edwards got his first career cup win over Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson has also been no stranger to success here at Atlanta, too. However, the last time he won was back in 2008. What will we see here? Let's send it down to Jeff Hammond. Seven, duh. I'm going to tell you this, but give me everything you got after today. You could wind up in victory lane. Good luck, your driver. Two races left in the regular season, and five people are going to be are in danger of missing the chase. Atlanta Motor Speedway has been known for fantastic finishes and some great and crazy moments over the years. So, while we're at it, let's see the 2010 ESPN crew for this race. Let's send it to Marty Reed, Dale Jarrett, and Andy Petrie. Boys? Welcome to 
welcome to Hampton, Georgia, and our coverage of the AdvoCare 500. Alongside Gerald Waltrip, I'm Mike Joy. Mike, I love this racetrack. It is so fast. When you head off in the first turn here, you're wide open. You go down in the corner. It's like riding a roller coaster. This joint is fast, and it will get your attention. Bobby Labonte has six wins here, Gerald, and Jeff Gordon, five. Who do you like today? Like Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson is who I'm going to put my money on. Kyle Busch is going to start on the pole tonight. Martin Truex is going to start second. Greg Bippel will start third. Matt Kenseth is going to start fourth. Who will take the trophy in tonight's World B USA 500? Fun fact, the trophy for this race is a giant toothbrush. So I guess it can encourage kids to, you know, brush their teeth. Okay, so the pace car is off, and tonight the field is in the hands of Kyle Busch as he makes his way down into the restart zone. 32 laps of racing tonight, Atlanta. We are green. Out of turn number four, Martin Trex Jr. is going to get out to the early lead, and he's going to lead lap number one this after tonight in Atlanta. I am already made, made our way up ten spots. Here comes Danica Patrick, and we're going to get two more spots in the form of her and Ryan Reed. Now, Atlanta World Speedway has also been known for having multiple grooves, especially the this lower downforce package that the Sprint Cup guys use. You can see guys running down low, running in the middle. Heck, you, you see right here, you can see Regan Smith um, trying to run towards the top of the racetrack. Make the way down to the trial one. Wow, Jeff Gordon. Not what he needed. Horrible qualifying effort for him. Is whoa, looks like one car suddenly explodes. No, no caution here. Here in Atlanta after that slight scuffle. Three laps in here tonight in, in the Oral B USA 500. Truex Jr. has the early lead. Denny Hamlin fights back coming out of turn four. Four, he will lead this lap. Denny Hamlin has, and Martin Truex have had history in the Spring Cup Series. Think back to the 2016 Daytona 500 when Denny Hamlin edged Truex Jr. just by the absolute narrowest of margins. Coming down the back stretch. Hamlin gets to the early lead. Kyle Busch has already fallen outside the top 10. Probably the only problem I've seen with probably the, one of the many problems I have with these techniques games is for guys that start up toward the front like Kyle Busch, they fall quickly through the field. And I'm not sure if it's for, they probably are going to give us the same excuse. Oh, it's realism. This car struggling early in the race. Like, Seriously, if you're on the pole and you fall that fu that fucking quick in the race, unless back in the race, unless it's like a restricted plate race or some, something like that, you should really reconsider your career as a driver. There's already four cars fighting for the top spot. We could have very easily went between Truex and Logano. Here comes Hamlet's teammate, Kenseth, to try to take the top spot. He's going to try to break check middle lane. As, whoa, what a save. Kenseth up into the wall, and he got Truex and Logano as well. No caution. Six laps into tonight's Oral B USA 500. Jim Hamlin the bump. Screaming by on the top side. Look at that. Hamlin just bottled up the field. Here comes Dale Earnhardt Jr. to take second. Earnhardt Jr. actually got a win here in Atlanta in 2004, but it was back when Atlanta had two races. Two races for a season instead of one, and they, one of them wasn't turned into a haphazard night race. Never mind, Truex Jr. and Earnhardt Jr. are going to be battling for the second and third spot. As we run out of turn number four, we continue to give put a little bit of gap on Truex Jr. 
Remember back to NASCAR 15 where Atlanta was stop number two in the season. And we had, four, we had like eight cautions in that race or something. I don't remember. If we had like eight cost, we had like eight cautions in that race. So far, it's been everyone's kept it clean. If they've hit problems, they've saved it. Everyone's kept it pretty clean. Coming down through the trial, Jimmy Johnson is going to lead another lap here at Atlanta Motor Speedway tonight. Making our way down through turns one and two. Already see one car on the back stretch come out of uh, the pits after green flag pit stops. And remember, I, we were green for this for most of the race back in Vegas when I ran this paint scene. I had to pit late in the event. And hopefully, we won't have the same thing happen tonight. Hopefully, we'll have some cautions to try to break up the green flag action, as we have already kind of gapped Shrex Jr. by almost five seconds. Earnhardt Jr. takes second away from Ambrose as Shrex Jr. falls to fourth. So far, it's been the Jimmy Johnson show in the early stages here in the Oral-B USA 500. Earnhardt Jr. still lays back in second as we come up on lap traffic. And that would be in the form of Holly Haraka in the 12. And Mark McDowell is going to be coming out of pit road here, too. Put two more, put two cars a lot down early on. We're going to go to the outside in Nemechek. We're going to run it really. Whoa! Wow. Car got a little loose coming out of fourth just from running up on Nemechek. Already 12 laps in, and we're killing it here at Atlanta. Atlanta, I have a seven and a half second lead over Dale Earnhardt Jr. Now, while we're at it, oh, yellow flag is out for the first time tonight in Atlanta. Well, um, first caution is out tonight, and it is for Kurt Busch and Clint Boyer getting together and causing Clint Boyer to go around out of, out of turn two. Kane clips it. Whoa, Amarola got him as well. I was nowhere near that. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was nowhere near that route. So, so much for having the having a longer in flight run. So, 12 laps in, and we already have our first caution. So, all the lead lap cars are going to pit. Even though I have no damage and my tires are good, so I'm just going to come in for a spot of fuel. And if there were any situation like you saw in Thunder 2004, do not. I repeat, do not use two tires in a pit stop. Okay, let's get this stuff out. Do not use two tires in Atlanta on NASCAR Thunder 2004. It may work, and it might be a miracle of God that you finish second or third, but I guarantee you if you use two tires in real life, you're going to get run over in Atlanta. <laughs> so, all right, boys. Okay, we need to be fuel. Fast here. In and out. I want fuel only on this stop. Nobody's going to mess up a fuel only pit stop. So, some of the top leaders have pitted. Some of the leaders tonight have pitted. So, we restart 15th. 2013 pole winner Ricky Stenhouse is going to restart on the pole with Trevor Bain to his outside. Jeff Gordon, who started 23rd in this race, has made his way up to 8th. Daryl Wallace and Landon Castle are the only drivers that have not hit it in this race. Now that's one of the fastest of the day. So, let's see our first awesome restart. Pace car car is off. Thank Stenhouse and Trevor Bain lead him down to the restart zone. And uh, green flag is back into the air. Green flag back into the air here at Atlanta. Trevor Bain. Trevor Bain, the Daytona 500 winner, gets out to... Tries to get a lead over to Stenhouse, but... 
All around goes Regan Smith. Saves it, but they're crashing behind him. Lots of bumping. Bumping behind him. Somehow they get it all figured out as they make their way down the back stretch. Stenhouse Jr. gets the early lead coming in in turn three. Here comes Matt Kenseth trying to charge the in charge the inside lane. Look at that. Ambrose and Ryan Reed. Sandwich. Three wide. Tight racing. Tight. Tight racing all the way through the field. As Kurt Busch takes the lead and as the round goes Marcus Ambrose up the racetrack. He collects one other car from what I see. Just got into him. And unfortunately it got Vickers, Truex, Edward spun to avoid. Kurt Busch and Trevor Boehner on the front row. Austin Dillon and Jimmy Johnson, which is me, are in row two. Matt Kenseth and Brian Vickers are in row three. Kyle Busch and Martin Trex Jr. are in row four. Greg Biffle and Dale Jr. are in your top ten. Anybody from 29th on back pitted. So, while we're at it, let's do ESPN full throttle. Kurt Busch and Trevor Bain lead him down. Everyone three wide coming out of turn four, and Matt Kenseth escapes the chaos just barely ahead of Kurt Busch as he's into the wall, no caution. And we're going to be losing a crap ton of positions right here. Look at that. All the way back to 30th. All the way back to 30th after that slight in that tussle with Kurt Busch, and he's probably not very happy. But look at that. Three and four wide in front of us. Please, fellas. Save the pack racing for Talladega. Couple cars down pit road. Everyone's still green. Only two cautions tonight compared to NASCAR 15 staggering eight cautions. Two cautions. And look at that. Stenhouse just bottled up the field right there. In the out of turn two. I'm down to the bottom. Three wide. Way down. Almost on the apron going into turn three. Side by side with David Gillen and AJ on there. It looks like Danica Patrick's going to peel off the pit road. Off on the pit road. A lot of contact. Act between me and Jamie McMurray. 11 laps to go. Dale Earnhardt Jr. with the lead. Brian Vickers brake checks the field abruptly, losing multiple spots. I had to go out to the outside to avoid running into him. And Joey Logano into the wall. Caution flag is out. He collects Jamie McMurray. Yeah, I was down at the bottom and 22 is just trying to trying to think he's a hero, just like Joey Logano was in real life, and he's just cock blocking me, and I clipped him. That's basically what happened. So, third caution is out here at, in Atlanta. As um, don't think that the action is going to be subsiding. Oh no, business is going to be picking up on this restart. Ryan Newman and Matt Kenseth are on the front row. Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Clint Boyer are in row two. Kyle mm -hmm. Busch and David Gillen are in row three. AJ Allmendinger and Tony Stewart are in row four. Martin Truex Jr. and Casey Kane round out your top ten. Fun fact for anybody that cares, Tony Stewart, that after Tony Stewart's Kevin Ward incident, Tony Stewart sat out for like for three races, and then he came back to Atlanta. He looked promising early, actually. He looked really good. 
Anyways, restart time. There we go, nine to go, coming down into the restart zone. Down into the restart zone, here we go. As... Green flag is back into the air. You know, for most of the half concerned, most of the races on intermediate tracks have been total derbies this season. This race has had a surprisingly low number of cautions. As Brad Keselowski had clipped us coming out of two, he backs up the second pack behind us. Nine laps of racing to go. How about this? A little bit of three wide action coming out of four between McMurray, Truex. We're about to go on the inside of them. Three wide tight. Wow, look at that. As he's throwing it in there, almost clipping David Gillen. Ryan Newman, who is the leader on the restart, but he slipped all the way back to third. As here comes Jamie McMurray down on the inside. Here he comes up to Seki. Look at that. This is true Atlanta racing. Everyone taking up the top and bottom lanes. Couple cars trying to see if their Braves going down the middle. And this is how racing should be. Kyle Busch and Matt Kenseth, 1-2. Contact. Bush up the track. Matt Kenseth already get, has gotten out to a little over a second over us. As they are three wide fanning out like it's Talladega behind, behind me. Look at that. We do have a... Kenseth has better tires than we do. And our right front's a little jacked up. So let's see how this next restart's going to go. Because our I know our car's going to get real tight. Nine to go in the Oral B USA 500. Look at this. I'm there, but did I make my move too early? Outside of Kenseth. We might be side by side coming out of two. Turns out we are. Contact is made. Kenseth crosses over. Here we come. In the three. Look at yeah, we're on the outside, side by side. This is how racing should be, right here. Do we get the lead? Yes, we do. Here comes Kenseth fighting back in the trial bowl. How about that? Newman, Truex Jr., third and fourth. Contact. Kenseth nips us. Come out of two. We're still good. He didn't have a run, but here comes Ryan Newman up to take second. And I'm telling you, Ryan Newman has a full head of steam right here. You know what sucks? What? You know, like, when you, when your car will beat up and you cut them trying first, and you know it, but it sends you all the way back to the back? Yeah, that actually happens. Can you imagine if that happens right now? That would suck. If this was the last lap and I... I come across the line, but the game trolls me. That actually happened on Inside Line at Texas. I was racing this exact car, and we were in almost the exact same situation we're in now. And, of course, Inside Line didn't get any testing, so basically I got trolled. Trolled and finished last, and, of course, Junior got the win. Oh, and speaking of the devil, here comes Ryan Newman to take the top spot. Five laps of racing to go. Vickers comes with him. Whoa, Vickers, round he goes, fourth caution, single car spin. This is going to be an entertaining restart. I clearly wanted the top lane. Look at that, just loops it around. No caution. So anyways, how about this for... What we might see for a restart with three laps of racing to go. Inside or outside? P take inside. your pick. If you do the outside, you're going to get slammed in the wall. Yeah, especially seeing how tight they get. Yeah. They think it's Talladega, it's like freaking Dover for God's sake. Anyways, come down to the restart zone. Three flag back into the air. I'm surprised because you start fourth. Yeah, he was the last caution, but then again, if you remember the EA games, if you wreck, you go into the back, SOL. That happened a lot on NASCAR 06, 07, 
oh wait, but of course he technically thinks this game is so realistic that they that if you wreck, according to them, you still fit, restart in the place you wreck, which is kind of stupid. So if you want realism, play the EA NASCAR games because that is NASCAR done right, done right. And I hope DMI and Monster Games bring back the classic dirt to Daytona feel for this race. So anyways, in the meantime, three laps to go, and Brian Vickers, who, just think, from that second caution, he has made his way, he is still in second. We might be seeing a good finish. Oh, Out of nowhere, here comes Kevin Harvick. He has not won it all this season, and he's going to come up, take the lead here in Atlanta. As the round goes Almendinger, tends it. Oh, now we got a crash. Big pile up here on the front stretch. Newman, Regan Smith. What? Look at that. Paul Menard spins through the, tri through the triable grass. Ted Vickers just cruises by. <laughs> Alright. See how many people are in it. Look at that. There's David Reagan, but in 2016 it's Chris Buescher. Hamlin in the 11. Larson in the 42. Hey, look, Gordon made it through. <laughs> Gordon's like, screw it. <laughs> That's Jeff, a nice painting. I, like I have the die cast to go and look at it later. Oh, is it the one on the lamp? No, I have the... It's in the box. It's from my stop motion race at Kansas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be 24. It's going to run. Bubble Wallace got a little bit of damage. Carl Edwards is in it. Joe Nemechek is in it. I guess that's what you get for, um... And then the people in the back are like, what the heck happened? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. And see, there's Ryan Newman coming up through there. He's like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. Regan Smith. Uh, Matt, there's, there's Matt Kenseth. He got the worst end of that. Tony Stewart. That's because he was in the top, and then, uh, he, he got smashed by, uh, Vickers. Yeah. There's Vickers back there. He doesn't have any damage. There's Danica. Oh, wow. Look at that. Marcus Ambrose. They were racking in the back, too. Brad Keselowski is about to get clipped by Truex. <laughs> Bush. Yeah. Gillen. That's everybody right there. And there's Trevor Bain <laughs> chilling in the grass like, that dudes. Of course, if you're sliding, you probably hit the pit road wall. Look yeah. at that. Almendinger head on. Kenzie head on. Logano Jr. Bush in the 18. Bush in the 18 got might have got the worst of that. Yeah. Look at that. Kurt Bush. Kyle Bush in the 18. Bush in the 41 didn't gain any damage. Oh my god. So, this is the result of a local short track on a Saturday night. <laughs> See how this green white checkered restart is going to be. Kevin Harvick and Matt Kenseth. I swear to... I'm not going to say it. Matt Kenseth is going to be on the front row. Clint Boyer and Kurt Busch are in row two. Me Jimmy Johnson and Casey Kane, our teammate, are in row three. Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Regan Smith are going to be in row four. Tony Stewart and Kyle Larson are going to be in row number five for the restart. Is it going to be another short track? <laughs> Judging by the way we've been racing in the late stages, probably. <laughs> who, do you, who do you got to win? If you get your, if nobody arrests, probably you if you make it. If you're, if it, the, the AI doesn't be all jerky and when it yeah. doesn't finish line. It puts you way back in the back. It puts me in second. So, here we go. Remember, we get three attempts. The goal is to make it to the white flag without any in further incident. And you see anybody from Austin Dillon. Oh, I guess the car DNF from that wreck. Wonder who it is. You lost the driver. Rest in peace. Anyways. Yay. Look, there's a car in the middle of the racetrack. Oh my god. It's AJ Allmendinger. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? 
Oh my god. And everybody's getting smashed. Oh my god. And the caution comes out. <laughs> and it's because AJ over there is sitting in the middle of the Ferris <laughs> track. Oh my god. Amber, look at this. The 47 was in the last track. And he's just sitting there. He's like, sup, dudes. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously. He's just sitting there. What is going on? <laughs> so, um, hopefully they remove AJ Albanier. <laughs> How much do you want to bet that AJ Albanier is still there on this restart? I bet you he is. David Gillen and Michael McDowell stay out. Is AJ Albanier in there? No, he's, he's still 42nd, and Chase Elliott's 43rd. Okay, we're good. We don't see a car sitting in the middle of the racetrack. No, it's like you come there's a name the Oh my god. Here we go. Green white checkered. It's hat number two. Better than the pace car. Pace car just sitting in the middle of the road. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Harvick gets. Harvick gets clear. Matt Kenseth, though, three wide behind us for third with Michael McDowell battling. And look at that, Newman gets to the Stewart, no caution. As Matt Kenseth is going to try to get second, we're going to run the top. Oh, as the round goes, we get Smith and Ryan Newman. Do we get the caution? there is no caution. No caution. Caution is not out. What? We had a one-lap restart. We had a one-lap. I have no, I have no words to describe what just happened. Nice job, man. Nice job. I have no words to describe what in the hell just happened. Anyways, <laughs> Matt Kenseth, after a sudden one lap restart, ends up winning, even though there's three green white checkers. Tony Stewart finishes second, Kevin Harvick third, Casey Kane fourth, Clint Boyer fifth, Jamie McMurray sixth, <laughs> Regan Smith seventh, David Reagan eighth, Dale Earnhardt Jr. ninth, and I finish tenth. So let's see who got involved in that last lap incident. And <coughs> Wait, David Gillen was first for the second green-white checkered attempt, right? He's, what, <laughs> what is going on right now? I am at a genuine loss for words. There's AJ Allmendinger. He was just chilling on the racetrack, <laughs> probably checking his Instagram or something. Like, sup guys, the party at the track is lit. <laughs> and then you got Michael McDowell claiming he's 41st. What the fuck? <laughs> Love it. I got nothing. <laughs> I genuinely got nothing. Let's um look at who got involved in the last lap incident. This is the first caution, second caution with Ambrose, third caution with Logano, fourth caution. That's when Vickers messed it up. That's Vickers' fault. Yeah, this one right here. Just look at that. Tens it. I at a genuine loss for words. Look at this. Let's go to photo mode. Uh, look at that. Kansas. Oh no, it's AJ Almendinger. I just want to be loved. He's just sitting there. He's uh, like, I just want to be loved. And then uh, number 20 just clips him in it. I was like, oh crap. Turns in another caution. And then all the dumb guys are like, oh look, there's a car in the road. Let's smash it. <laughs> this is the result of Eutechnics programming. Look at that. Tens and Harvick just squeezed by. Caution comes out here. What the? If McDowell and Gillen were on the front row, this game. I swear, this game, man. I bet you he wrecked and the game didn't, uh, I bet you, uh, the 40. The 38? Yeah. The 38, I bet you he uh, 
he got in that humongous wreck at the finish line and went all the way to the back and then it crossed the line. <laughs> <laughs> Game trolling. Yes. You technically stopped. So here's the wreck. So Regan Smith and I got together. Oh, hard hit right there. Then here's um. It looked like they were gonna save it. Yeah. And then. I thought uh, who's the guy in the pencil? The pencil? Yeah. Uh, Joey Logano. I thought he was gonna save it when uh there was that big wreck. I was like, save it, save it, save it, save it. Oh crap! He's gonna crash. No yellow flag. Oh crap. Then look at that. <laughs> There's a oh, car God, on top God. of somebody. <laughs> That's probably <Wally> Haraka. <laughs> Hey, look, even the upstairs people are beatboxing. Kurt Busch. Uh, he's just Marcus, sitting there. <laughs> Marcus Ambrose, Kyle Busch, Ryan Newman, Michael Annette, David Rudiman, Kurt, look at that. Joe Nemechek is in there, in this, and then there's everyone just stopping and just jamming on the brakes. <laughs> yeah. Save this race? Yeah. Best? Best. Best race of the year? This is what happens when... You race on a short track at Atlanta. <laughs> oh my god. Is the other race a, a rep fest? Oh god. All I heard was, oh god, yeah, another yellow flag. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Alright. If you think Atlanta was, gonna, was crazy, think how late Richmond's gonna be. Oh yeah, it's gonna be terrible. It's... Ever. Everybody's going to be wrecking. Oh, yeah. You guys won't even make it one lap before you guys all wreck. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> You'd be like, er, oh, another yellow flag. Yay, that's so boring. The boringest race in the world. If you remember to Richmond where I accident back to the first race at Richmond, I clipped the orange cone mm -hmm. and got up into... Gordon on accident, and the game counted me as a lap down when it showed me clearly ahead in Newman. Mm -hmm. Wonder if it'll happen this time. <laughs> I, I am at a loss for words. I am at a genuine loss for words. <laughs> AJ Almendinger was like, "What's up, bro?" I'm looking at my Instagram. <laughs> yes. Look at this. Giant wreck. Oh, I'm in the middle of the road. No way. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, look at the chase grid. As, um, I still have a two win gap over Jeff Gordon, Greg Biffle, Brad Keselowski, and Marcus Ambrose. So, the next race is going to be at Richmond or National Speedway for race 26 of 36, the final regu regular season race for the running of the. For the Federated Auto Parts 400, correct me if I'm wrong. So, it's the running of the Federated Auto Parts 400 at Richmond. See you in a few days.